Hello everyone, welcome to my review of Loki episode 2 that is actually shown in Disney Plus but here in my country we take opportunity of a few windows if I say so okay so note this is a spoilers review and what I'm gonna think about my take on what I'm gonna say about my take on Loki so we may have different opinion than ours so here it is my episode 2 breakdown review for this so as you all know we ended episode 1 with the teaser of a new variant of Loki so Loki this Loki is speculated to be the female Loki that because of the confirmation that Loki was what gender fluid yeah so in this episode the variant we take the idealism of what Loki is and who is the much more superior Loki because this hints at the meetup of the variant Loki and the male Loki I'm gonna say Loki we're good look we're gonna do it simply this time so yeah so the episode began with what a funny segment of between Miss Minutes I think and Loki so I think Loki is like a studying his TVA protocols and then Miss Minutes is, man is supervising him to the point that Loki got annoyed with Miss Minutes because of her southern voice I think and then he proceeds on slapping nonsensical against her and then she hides on that monitor so Miss Minutes isn't actually an on-screen figure in the TVA she's actually like a CGI thing if you get what I mean that she can manifest herself into the reality and she can assimilate herself into technology so after the Miss Minutes episode there is a segment of the evil Loki variant that what kidnaps a TVA agent on a failed operation so it is put upon themselves on the task between Loki and Mobius to find out how the how Loki is able to escape their clutches and where is this evil variant Loki hiding so we got a little trope we got some tropes here Mr. Mobius doesn't still trust Loki as they as established it kind of goes against what is established in episode 1 so why would they still hire him if the man who recruited him doesn't still trust him right and then we got a fake a good scene where Loki found a loophole on regarding apocalypse time branches so the TVA agents absolutely doesn't know anything about Loki's loophole about the apocalypse so here's what in a funny salad comparison metaphorically speaking it is the lo the Loki theory of apocalypse in in respect to the TVA is that the TVA doesn't intervene if there is a variance in the timeline or an excess event in the timeline when an apocalypse is happening so why any 
anything that Loki tries to intervene in an apocalyptic timeline will result in an end of an apocalypse. So whatever he does there that goes against the flow of time, it won't matter because the apocalypse will still happen anyway. Just like Ragnarok, Loki could burn down the castle, the Asgardian palace. He can push the Hulk off the Bifrost, but it's not gonna be something that the TVA would intervene because it will still the it will still the timeline. I mean, the place will still get destroyed. And this was tested by taunting the villagers for mere seconds before the volcanic eruption in Pompeii. So the theory worked. Loki did something out of the timeline during an apocalyptic event and that would mean that they that that would mean the TVA would not interfere because in reality that branch will end anyway or something. So with that being said they've been Searching any apocalyptic timeline where the evil or or this new Loki I'm just gonna refer her to new Loki or lady Loki based on the episode reveal Where the new Loki is hiding it was decided it they are hiding in 2050 where there is an apocalyptic There is a apocalyptic storm or a hurricane because of a clue that she left Candy so they search for a place where there is and a huge amount of supplies and is in an apocalyptic timeline what I presume and that's where they head up for an operation so this has been this has been the confrontation that episode 1 was looking about and that that Loki met the new Loki in this timeline but she didn't appear outright she did some possession things now what would happen next is that what happens next is that they found that Loki split up with the TVA agents the TVA agents recovered the captive agent during the earlier parts of the episode and Loki tries to earn the trust of the new Loki I think I presume he said that he wants to overthrow the timekeepers to the new Loki so yeah I don't know if he was sincere or he was just tricking the new Loki into siding with him so he can deal with her by himself then we got the the reveal of Lady Loki at the end and then she escapes triggering a bunch of nexus events at once via the time eradicator thing time bomb thing that the tj lives behind every time they want to reset a timeline so there i don't know how female loki got a hold on how the technology works in order to do it reversely because instead of resetting the timeline it will create an alternative timeline but maybe because the TVA agent that she held hostage had captive her there was also a scene here about free will and then Owen Wilson or Mobius just said it's an oversimplification of things that people don't have free will but yeah so basically so this ends with Loki seemingly betraying Mobius to go off or is this a ruse is Loki gonna team up with his female counterpart to commit some time shenanigans or is he there to put the business by himself and capture her so that what is his plan what is the game plan of Mr. Loki Lovefacer so that's the ending what I think is the plot is pretty straightforward. It's just, uh, we need to find Loki, but where do we need to find her? Oh, we find her, uh, and then 
can Loki and TVA coexist? And then will Loki betray? It's like the same storyline of how Loki is being rehashed in this episode. The good part about here is Sofia Di Martino debuting as Lady Loki. I didn't expect the horns because Tom Hiddleston never really liked the horns. He never wore them as much in the movies. And I'm surprised the female Loki actually wore them. But could this be the superior Loki? Is Lady Loki the superior Loki because she seemingly outsmarted Loki here? Or did Loki outs purposely let Lady Loki outsmart him outsmart himself so he can do something good for once? Because remember this isn't the Loki that we are familiar with in the Avengers. This is a different timeline Loki, a variance of Loki. So there. Pretty much an average episode. I think they played safe here. So, oh, it's, it's, I'm not underwhelmed, I'm not overwhelmed. You just got a balance of being whelmed. The thing is, if they want Loki to betray Mobius and commit time shenanigans, why would there be a sense of danger between Lady Loki and the present Loki, right? So it's obviously going to be Loki trying to capture Lady Loki, but he has to go against the TVA. Or, and is Loki's plot over to the timekeepers going to affect the ending? So it will trigger once and for all the multiverse that Marvel seems to go stop and start with it with every series so far. So that's my review of Loki episode 2. Let me know what you think and good day everyone.